You're Monty. I'm Mora. I'm pleased to know that. But I do eat, so we're gonna make beer out of. We're gonna make bread out of beer. <laughs> like Rumble Still Skin made gold out of straw. Mm -hmm. Allison, do you know this story? We all need puppies. I really only know him from Shrek. Oh my god! <laughs> what are we doing today, Monty? Wait, who are we? What's happening? <laughs> That's existential. <laughs> I'm Monty, this is Mora, we're making beer bread. Why? So the story goes that Monty here doesn't partake in any vices. So, you do not drink, and I drink a bit. We're roommates, and we were like, what's a fun thing we can do together that combines these passions? You said beer bread, and I thought, shit, why not? <laughs> and now we've made it a couple of times, but we're doing something different this time. We're using Badello, jalapenos, and taco cheese blend to try and <laughs> do something a little bit wild with this beer. We've never tried this before. We might fuck up. My hope is low. Is that... Like, my standards are low. I've got enough hope for everybody watching. And now for my favorite part, reading the ingredients list. So for this recipe, you're gonna need three cups of flour, as we have here in our mason jar, three teaspoons baking powder, two teaspoons salt, two tablespoons sugar, or more, if you want the bread to be super sweet, one 12 ounce beer, our beer of choice was a Modelo that I clearly can't hold out front with the label, so I ignore that, uh, and, one half cup of melted butter that you're just gonna pour into the entire mixture. What? Oh, hey, this is a part of it that I'm <laughs> So the recipe used to call for one fourth cup of the butter being in the bread and one fourth cup of the butter being on top of the bread. It overflowed and burnt the bottom of our oven. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna throw the whole half cup of butter into the bread. With our choice of beer, the Modelo, we thought a jalapeno cheddar cheese beer bread might be good. Um, so if you're doing anything similar to that, you're gonna need three regular size jalapenos and as much cheddar cheese as you can stomach. An indiscriminate amount of cheese. Cheese at your own risk. Should <laughs> I get the mixer? Um, Sorry, I'm gonna need a second. Yes. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to camera two. We've opted to prep all of our ingredients here on the side, but believe me, we are typically not this organized. So if you don't do this, you're about as bad as the next person. First things first is we're gonna sift our flour to allow a lot of air. This is apparently a two-man job. I don't feel like it should be, but for our purposes it is. I don't know, that camera angle is probably... Actually, you know what? Let me go to this side. I will say that the sifting is nice to give to your dumbest roommate because it keeps them occupied so they can't break anything. Are you the dumbest roommate? I would say so, because Allison's in charge. I don't know, Allison, what's your, what's your ACT score? I only take the SAT. Did I take the SAT down in Texas? Um, I think just a lot of the colleges I applied for, they specifically asked for the SATs and were like, we can take ACTs too. But oh, okay. Then. Empty bowl. Sink. Clean as you go. If there's only one thing I can actually offer, is as sick as you go. Which is great, because we've never actually done that. We've never done that, but we're <laughs> going to start today, baby! We're going to start today! This is our recipe. Throw it out the window! Who needs a recipe? Beer bread, too. Next, we're going to add our salt and sugar. Now, we've combined it into this little dish that I stole from an Applebee's. And so we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle that on in. I feel like I just admitted to it. Massive crime. Hell yeah, property reclamation. All of Applebee's belongs to me. We're gonna wanna add our baking powder. I forget how much baking powder to put in. Enough. Put enough into it, it's just more bread. I'm not sure what baking powder does. It's chemical. Ah, like everything else. What's that song? Let's get watching all the other baking shows we watched together. Baking soda is just baking powder mixed with cream of tartar. Or maybe that's the other way around. But one of them is essentially the other one mixed with cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is another common they use. I wonder if one tastes better. I think they all taste pretty shit on their own. Okay, and in you go. You want this part to look just like my high school a big old mix of white. You can go about it one of two ways. You can choose to add your cheese 
to the dry mix, or we can pour in the beer, add the cheese to the wet mix. Monty, what are you thinking? I want to add the cheese now because I'm in a mixing mood. This only happens once every blood moon, so let's fucking do it. Watch carefully. How much cheese do we want to add to this? Uh, enough. Stop adding cheese when you think it's too thick with dairy. Wow, I hate the sound of that. Rule of thumb, just add everything to the dry mix and then get it real wet. <laughs> Unless it is a liquid. We have a lot of shredded cheese. Oh, as a family? Yeah. Yeah. Yum. You want to make tacos for dinner? Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in for that episode. <laughs> Jalapeno time, baby. Let's make it spicy. I keep it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out of my bowl! I understand. It's okay. your bowl. Please I'm please. invading your space. This is riddled with seeds that will become so spicy. Spice. I'm Angel Spice. <laughs> it's Iron Spice. Are you if you look closely, you'll see a bite mark in this butter where our roommate Allison took a bite with the package still on. She was hungry. Can you blame her? All right, cats and kittens. Now you want to get your butter real melted. Surface of the sun melted in a heat wave melted. It's already melted. You're going to want to melt your butter. Yeah, this has been sitting out for a minute. Should I cut the half horizontally? Or should I cut it vertically? Hamburger. You think I should cut it hamburger? hamburger? Not hot dog. Yeah. Hamburger, not hot dog? Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's as interesting, but we'll do it. Can I eat this? Do you want to eat that? I want to, a little bit. I'm not gonna stop you, but why don't you cut off the bit you wanna eat? That's what my teeth do. I put this in here, boom. Ooh, it is hot! A baby thumb of jalapeno, just for yourself. Are you going to be able to work under these conditions you've created for yourself? I left the butter in there so long it started boiling. <laughs> Look at this thick, rich business. Melted. We're going to pour that in. Wait. Come over here and do your job. Are you ready? Beep, 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 beep. This is also the first time we're using this butter, so we're going to see this like really ups the game. Which it might not. Honestly. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Something I forgot to do was unwrap the Modelo before Ooh, starting this. Do we want to leave some of the gold in the bread for that authentic Modelo experience? <laughs> Quick complaint to Modelo. It's just one more step to get to the liquid. This is not the champagne of beer. The champagne of beer is a Miller High Life. I think that jalapeno is the first vegetable I've consciously eaten in a week. I've actively been like trying to eat Vegetables, what have you been doing? Beans mostly. I'm on that bean diet. Yeah, we've all noticed. Okay, trash can's still not there. Let's do this. Beer. It's gonna be some cheesy bread. It's gonna be some cheesy bread. You're under arrest for crimes against me personally. All right, now we're gonna put that in there using this. And then you this is actually this. just one person, two heads, four arms. Now this is the one bit that I'm gonna get involved because I'm a little bit better at this than you. Oof. And I think that's I think that's fine. They're, everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses and this is just a strength of mine and you have a lot of weaknesses. And that's fine. But Comment below to pull that knife out of my back. No. What you do next is you take some of this cheese and you just sprinkle it over the top to make a nice cheese crust. You can't really do too much cheese crust. I think you might be able to. Let's find out if you can do too much. Let's see if we can make this like bad. Saved a couple little round slices of jalapeno for this part. And you kind of just like, you know, do, do your thing. Like otters on a pick. All right, let's pop this bad boy in the oven. How long are we gonna bake this for? 40 minutes. And with the rest of this time, I usually use it to cry, but I'm gonna do that off camera. <laughs> but I'm actually gonna use this time to watch anime. I'm 24 and I'm watching Maid Sama. Let's go check on our bread. See how it's doing. I can't see that. It's cheesy and jalapeno-y. And we're finished making bread. Oh, she is. Toasted. My god. Look at that. And that's bread. That's bread. I feel like this is okay. Maybe <laughs> It smells good. 
It smells delicious. Too bad your camera doesn't pick up smell. Yeah. Look at us. It's gorgeous. This is a fairly easy recipe to follow. Um, if two idiots like us can do it, you can do it too. I don't care what you got on the ACT. You can do this. I got a million. <laughs>